Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. And this is my latest video. Now, this isn't a tutorial video. I do a lot of tutorials. Um, check through my playlists. Go through my page, my front page, and you can see there's a thousand. That's not an exaggeration. Um videos and tutorials on how to make things, how to do things, all kinds of fun stuff. Cardboard, foam board, paper mache. Um, just have, have some fun if you want to make things. That's my catchphrase is let's make something. Well, anyway, in this video, I wanted to show you a project that I was have been working on for a couple of days now, and it's turned out to be quite the disaster. I guess that's an exaggeration. It's not really a disaster, but it did not turn out to be the way I wanted it to turn out. It, this is a cardboard battle knight. The basic concept of this is you have two of them. And you have, with one hand, you can operate the shield to go up and down. And with the other hand, you can operate the axe or sword to go down on your opponent's head. And if you hit the uh, opponent's head just right, they, they, the head pops right off. Just like in um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And it's only iteration one. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about iterations, but uh, the uh, progenesis of this idea, is that, a, is that a word, progenesis? The main thought, you might be thinking, if you remember, if you're old enough, from the 70s, there was this game, this toy called Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I'll post in a picture here. The um, attribution for this picture is in the description of this video. And uh, where you fight, two ro robots fight in a battle and you've got to pop the other robot's head off. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I remember that game a toy from a long time ago. I don't, it might still be around. But actually, that isn't the progenesis of this. If you've followed my stuff in the past, you know that I got a real fascination with medieval marginalia. And uh, marginalia are these quirky, weird, odd, strange, often very curious pictures that um, were drawn in the margins of uh, medieval manuscripts, illuminated manuscripts and whatnot. And uh, the, the paper was very precious, the book was very precious, and they never wanted to leave any space open. So they would openly draw all kinds of weird stuff. Knights battling snails were a big thing um, for some reason. I think there's a reason for that. But uh, just all this wonderful stuff. And I even have done a project called the Marginalia Castle. And then you can buy that castle if you want. It's a fun project. It's a packet. You can print it up and uh, print up the PDF and uh, make it yourself. I'll show you a little bit of that. But, well, anyway, I might, when I was researching Marginalia, I ran across this picture of two boys playing with these little knights and battling with these little knights. And so for me, this is a couple of hundred years before Rock'em Sock'em Robots. But it's got the same idea. So that's what I wanted to do out of cardboard. And that's, so that's what I've done here. I've made this cardboard night. And it's not completed. And it's definitely not the way I expected it to be. But um, I'll, I'll keep at it. I, I'll do another iteration. And I'll probably do a video on um, prototyping and developing your ideas with cardboard which kind of applies to a lot of different stuff, but that's part of the process. You make a prototype, you refine the prototype, you make another prototype. I used to do a lot of um, building of electronic devices, and that was pretty common, prototyping stuff. You fix it, you refix it, you try something, you design it, you redesign it. And, you know, so I guess that's what I'm doing here as a kind of an engineering thing. I'm prototyping Rock'em Sock'em Medieval Knights. Well, anyway, stay tuned. i got more stuff coming. Oh, and if you notice that, that um, I have a bath there, a big Tupperware container there on the right in the video of a, a bath of water. That's actually um, paper pulp. I've been making some scrolls, I'm making my own paper scrolls and experimenting with cotton fiber and stuff and, you know, recycling different papers. And I'm from, because I want to make a medieval scroll, I am going on a, I am planning on going on a trip to a pilgrimage in Spain next year and I'm going to take a scroll with me and there's a whole set of reasons behind that but um, if you want to learn more I'll put a link to my website you can learn join in that adventure with me if you want 
you can see the paper making, but you can also travel along on uh, something called the Camino. It's uh, the Santiago de Compostela. So I, that's my goal. And um, you can, if you'd like, you can support me in that endeavor. Thank you very much. Lots more stuff coming. I'm having fun. I'm getting the creative juices flowing. I'm, I'll, I'll be posting various stuff, projects, and how to make things and other things too. I'm going to expand this channel to cover other stuff. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hit that. Listen, hit that subscribe button. I'm battling the um, YouTube algorithm. If you like, if you followed me a long time, or if you like my stuff, hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell button. So you get notified, hopefully, if it works correctly, um, when I post a new video. I, I don't think it's, so there's something, well, anyway, thank you very much.